1981, something incredible happened. A giant white spacecraft stood tall on the launch pad, engines roaring, ready to break free from Earth's gravity. It wasn't just a rocket, it was the first ever reusable space shuttle, Columbia. The world watched as it soared into the sky, marking a new era in space travel. But have you ever thought about what goes into building one of these engineering marvels? It's not just metal, engines, and wires, it's a mix of science, precision, and thousands of brilliant minds working together. From heat-resilient tiles to rocket boosters, every piece has a story. So, how do they make a space shuttle? Let's break it down. Step 1. Designing the Space Shuttle Before anything is built, engineers spend years perfecting the design. They run thousands of computer simulations to test how the shuttle will handle extreme speeds, temperatures, and space conditions. Every part, from the body shape to the smallest bolts, is planned with precision. Unlike rockets, the space shuttle had to be reusable, making the design even more complex. NASA spent nearly a decade figuring out how to create a spacecraft that could launch like a rocket and land like an airplane. The final design included three main sections the orbiter, the shuttle itself, the solid rocket boosters, and the external fuel tank. Step 2. Building the shuttle's frame The shuttle's body, or fuselage, is made from lightweight yet strong metals like aluminum and titanium. Unlike a car, the pieces aren't just bolted together, they are riveted and bonded using special adhesives that can handle extreme conditions. The shuttle is built in sections, with robotic arms and skilled workers carefully shaping and attaching the pieces. Every measurement must be exact, because even the smallest miscalculation could cause a disaster. Once the basic structure is complete, it moves to the next critical step, protecting it from the extreme heat of re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Step 3. Installing the heat shield When the space shuttle returns to Earth, it faces temperatures hotter than lava, up to 1,650 degrees centigrade 3,000 Fahrenheit. To survive, it is covered with more than 24,000 heat-resistant tiles. These tiles are made from a special ceramic material that absorbs heat and prevents the shuttle from burning up. But here's something surprising. Each tile is unique, custom-made to fit a specific spot on the shuttle, so engineers test every tile individually by blasting it with flames to ensure it can handle extreme conditions. Even though these tiles are tough against heat, they are so fragile that if you drop one, it can shatter like glass. Step 4. Building the Rocket Boosters The Space Shuttle can't reach space on its own. It needs two solid rocket boosters, SRBs, attached to its sides. These massive boosters provide 80% of the thrust needed for launch. They burn a special solid fuel that creates a controlled explosion. Here's something fascinating. Once they are ignited, they cannot be turned off. They keep burning until all the fuel is used up. After two minutes, the boosters separate and fall into the ocean. They are then recovered, cleaned, and reused for future missions. Without these boosters, the shuttle wouldn't have the power to escape Earth's gravity. Step 5. Constructing the External Fuel Tank The external fuel tank, EFT, is the large orange tank that sits beneath the shuttle. It carries the main fuel, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, to power the shuttle's engines. The tank must be lightweight yet strong enough to hold half a million gallons of fuel. But here's something surprising. It's not metal on the outside. The orange color comes from spray-on foam insulation, which prevents ice from forming on the tank. The fuel inside is so cold that without insulation, the shuttle's body could freeze before liftoff. Unlike the boosters, the external tank is not reusable. It detaches and burns up in the Earth's atmosphere after each launch. Step 6 installing the shuttle's main engine. At the heart of the space shuttle are three main engines, some of the most powerful machines ever built. These engines burn liquid hydrogen and oxygen at 6,000 Fahrenheit, 3,300 centigrade, hotter than molten lava. The engines must create enough thrust to lift a 100-ton spacecraft into space. But here's what makes them special. They are eight times more energy efficient than an atomic bomb but carefully controlled to prevent explosions. Each engine has over 50,000 moving parts, and a single failure could be catastrophic. Engineers test them for months before installing them onto the shuttle. Step 7. Assembling the shuttle for launch Once all the parts, the orbiter, rocket boosters, and fuel tank are complete, 
They are carefully assembled at NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building, VAB. This building is so huge that clouds can form inside. The parts are stacked together using giant cranes, and every connection is inspected multiple times. Even a tiny gap or loose screw could lead to mission failure. Once assembled, the entire shuttle is placed on a special platform that will carry it to the launch pad. The process takes weeks, but every step is critical to ensuring a safe launch. Step 8. Transporting the shuttle to the launch pad. Moving a fully assembled space shuttle is no easy task. NASA uses a massive vehicle called the Crawler Transporter, which carries the shuttle from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad at a speed of just one mile per hour. This slow speed prevents vibrations that could damage the shuttle. The journey takes several hours, even though the launch pad is only a few miles away. Once at the pad, the shuttle is secured and final preparations begin for the big moment, liftoff. Step 9. Final Testing and Safety Checks Before a launch, NASA engineers run hundreds of tests to ensure everything is working perfectly. They check every system, wire, and bolt to avoid any malfunctions. Even the tiniest problem can delay a mission. The astronauts go through training runs, testing emergency procedures and communication systems. Engineers also run countless computer simulations, predicting every possible problem that could happen during launch or in space. If even one thing seems off, the launch is delayed. Safety is the top priority, and NASA follows strict rules to make sure the mission goes smoothly. Step 10. Countdown and Launch Finally, after months of preparation, the countdown begins. The astronauts are strapped into their seats and final systems are checked. At T-6 seconds, the shuttle's three main engines ignite, shaking the ground. Then, at T-0, the solid rocket boosters fire, creating 12 million pounds of thrust. Enough power to lift the shuttle roars into the sky, leaving behind a massive trail of smoke and fire. In just eight minutes, it reaches space, traveling at 17,500 miles per hour. The mission has begun. The space shuttle isn't just a machine. It's a masterpiece of human innovation. From the powerful engines to the heat-resolute tiles, every part is designed with extreme precision. It takes years of planning, thousands of engineers, and some of the most advanced technology on Earth to build just one. And yet, despite all the challenges, NASA made it possible, launching 135 missions over 30 years and changing space exploration forever. So, what do you think? Would you ever want to witness a shuttle launch in real life? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video fascinating, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on more amazing space content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.